Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video, I'm going to showcase a tool which helps you in increasing the uh, privacy while using your Kali Linux. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. So guys, uh, if you are watching this video and I'm, I'm, I'm sure that you are using Kali Linux and there are some cool and good tool uh, which helps you in achieving privacy while using your Kali Linux. So don't ask me why, why there should be privacy. So privacy is a right and also being anonymous over the internet is also a good thing. So this particular tool helps you in achieving that. And let me showcase that tool. Uh, so this is the tool uh, that I'm going to showcase in this video. The name is Kali hyphen who am I? So this particular tool uh, and all the credit goes to the creator of this tool. And this particular tool is such a uh, good tool that I haven't ever seen uh, because this helps you in providing various features like anti man in the middle attacks. Okay, uh, let's think this and also guys, this is not only uh, limited to the Kali Linux, you can also use that for the Linux like Ubuntu or any other distributions out there. So if you are having repositories to install these uh, kind of uh, requirements, then you can do that. We'll discuss about that and there is something I called as lock killer so every system maintain locks so it kills the lock suppose let's think i'm using i'm opening my browser and i'm going to google.com so it is uh, locked somewhere so it kills that as well and it changes the ip changer so ip changer is like it helps you in connecting to a vpn and then you can change your ip address you can change your dns so by default it will be 8.8.8 .8 .8, but will keep on changing the dns so that your internet service provider doesn't see what you are browsing and even the MAC address changer, uh, you, you might know that and cold boot. So cold boot is where something uh, they try to uh, extract the encryption keys from your RAM uh, main memory, uh, primary memory. So it even protects from that. It changes your time zone. It changes your host name. It, it provides the browser anonymization. So this is such a cool framework that does you everything and uh, now I'll show you how you can install this particular thing on Kali Linux and as it as I already told you this you can also do this on any other Linux distributions so let's dive in so guys now let me open my Kali Linux over here and uh, let me start installing this particular tool I have my this thing I'll close all these things right and uh, let me copy this command or you can copy this URL and you can simply clone that right you can simply hit enter the destination already exists okay so i had already done that right so right now what you need to do is you need to uh with the help of make you need to install all these uh, things so let me copy that and let me use that so it is going to install everything and now what you can see is so the thing uh is like you get your uh what you call this kali hyphen who am i tool uh, working anywhere uh, in your Kali Linux okay so let me go back to my normal directory and let me see uh, Kali hyphen Kali hyphen who am I and hyphen hyphen help so don't look into that okay so here these are the options for that this particular tool supports so if you're not uh, a root user by default then you need to use sudo because these changes uh, take place uh, while only sudo and here are some options like start so that you can start you can stop any of them like you can stop anything you can stop this tool you can look into the status what got changed you can fix any if there is any issue you can uh, look for the help or anything like that so let's see how we can do that so let me hit enter and here you can see all the available features you can select any feature that you want so first of all i'll be going with something like a dns changer so dns has been changed successfully and uh, in order to see the status so you can see dns changer and you can go to something like dns leak check info or anything like that uh, you can check your dns your dns gets changed there right and also uh, you can stop this thing right you can see the dns uh, changer has been disabled right now and let's again start the thing and let's see the ip changer stuff let me hit three over there and let me hit enter again and you can see ip has been changed ip uh, changer has been successfully enabled you can look into the status of that you can see it is changed 
and you can check what is your IP address, what is your public IP. Let me show that for you. And also, guys, uh, let's think there is. Uh, uh, let me think. See, it is. It had changed my location. See, I sh I should get a thing like in India. I don't know what even this means. Uh, let me hit this thing. Don't know what this even is. You can see I use it to get uh, English, but right now you can see the language got changed over here. So that show that clearly shows that the IP changer uh, the IP changer thing is working fine, right? And also there are some catches like uh, while you are using IP changer, you can't. Uh, uh, enable dns changer because it doesn't work okay uh, you can enable dns changer or ip changer at a time any one at a time that's it and you can change the mac changer and you can also do the time changing and host name changing and browser anonymization stuff so i'm leaving it to you guys okay and also uh, this is everything for the video regarding this kali hyphen who am i tool and also as i told you previously you can also do this on uh, uh, other linux distributions out there like ubuntu or anything like that i had tried it on ubuntu it is working absolutely fine as soon as you are able to uh, download these dependencies and install these dependencies it works fine on every other linux distributions and not only for kali you can, if you are using any linux distributions you can uh, get privacy uh, through the help of this tool so that is everything guys and i hope you really like this video and uh, you can feel free to check out my discord server the link is in the description below and you can also follow me on my twitter uh, where i share some security related tweets uh, all the links are in the description below and also there is a link in the description where you can uh, mention your suggestions and feedback for any kind of video and that's it guys for today this is satvik signing off and i'll meet you in the next video thank you